What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to Hatred Feelings. Welcome to another wonderful tutorial. Wonderful and essential, okay? I'm sure you all on here will be needing this tutorial because we are actually in the season of corsets, okay? And enough of doing loops. Loops is just the easy way out from creating eyelets in your corset. This tutorial is dedicated to making this beautiful eyelet you can see all over the screen, okay? To get that extra snatch, to get that extra, extra fit, okay? Because don't worry, Shabby, you are having me for my big tummy. When I do the eyelets, that tummy will not see it again, okay? So please, 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 let's um, see how to do this. We need to work in it together, perfect this craft together, such that when we produce a garment, it is impeccable out of this world, all right? So now that I'm done rambling, let us dive right into this video. So um, we have our ingredients <laughs> that we're gonna be using for the tutorial. Okay, by ingredients, I mean all the tools we need, okay? So I have different sizes of eyelets, different colors. I have, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make it with a tool, like with the eyelet plier. Let's go to my table, my cutting area, and let us begin. So I am gonna be teaching you, I'm gonna be explaining how to create the eyelet with the eyelet clipper, puncher, plier, okay? So this is it, it's quite affordable, right? If you do not have the gourmet machine, the cover button machine, this the button hole cover machine, we call it like that in Nigeria here. If you do not have this machine to create the eyelets, this is also a very good alternative. And you can do like two sizes because these things have the sizes they do. This one will do two sizes, that's the smaller. This small sizes, you can see how small this size is compared to this one. So this puncher or clipper will do this two sizes. And these sizes, right, I have it in the silver too. These sizes do not need a cover. They are like different kind of eyelets. Guys, this is a whole class on its own. So this particular eyelet do not have like a ring or a cover that comes with it. With it this way, once you clip it, it's going to form it front and back. Don't worry, you're going to see it when we begin. And then the bigger sizes, the larger sizes here, they come in pairs. They have like a cover, like see this now. It has this and then it has the cover that would create that fold, okay? So this one comes in pair and this one is just single, okay? So we're gonna be looking at different sizes, looking at how to achieve it. All right, so if this is something you wanna see, let's begin. All right, guys, so first things first, we actually need to plan out the spacing we're gonna be having between each eyelet, okay? You can want it very compactly close together or you can want it, want it a little bit far from each other, okay? So um, remember that your fabric or whatever you're gonna be working with already has the interfacing, lining, double, and most as, uh, and it may also be kind of bulky, okay? So that's why I folded this into two so that we can have that feel, okay? Now, first things first, you're going to be measuring from um, up here because let's assume that this part will go into the neck or the yoke or will be sewn close. So you want to leave like one inch above there. You don't want to start exactly from there. So I'm going to be starting one inch there. Mark that. You can do one inch apart, right? If you have like the big, for instance, look at this big one now. You have this big one. You can do one inch apart. Even if you have this kind of medium one, one inch apart is still okay, okay? Or for this big one, yeah, one inch apart, beautifully done. But when you have this smaller sizes, let's say, Let's use one from here as an example. Okay. 
when you're working with this smaller sizes okay you're using this tinier size you may just be doing half inch apart you would have to put more more um eyelets okay so the bigger the size the more space you can do you can create the smaller the size then the compact it should be okay so a mix of both the big the small let's start with the small so i'm going to be just doing like half inches apart half inch since i'm starting from the small half inch half inch so this is just like a test drawing okay and you know that it's always like in pairs when you measure it this way for this part of the bodies like for the left hand side you're going to do the half inch half inch half inch to for the right hand side because that is where your lacing will go through to snatch and hold all the whole um fatness away so okay i'm going to snip once you do this you just want to snip here you can actually use a nail and a hammer to create the hole or you just lightly snip it okay you can snip with your scissors or they also sell a tool there's like a set i'm going to put it on the screen here there's like a set that has the that has the tool that has the puncher i mean it's like a perforator you just put it and it pierces through it opens the hole right instead of using your scissors to open the hole for the scissors you just want to open it just a tiny bit why tiny bit the eyelet is tiny you don't want the hole to be so much wider than the eyelet okay so just a tiny little bit i mean Very good so you can see how wide the hole I opened is next you're going to take your eyelets we're starting from the small size remember put it through that hole like let it enter through the hole pierce it through push it to come out on the other side great so once it comes out on the other side this way you can see how it looks and you can see this place right next thing you're going to take your tool this okay you're going to take this you're going to make sure that and you press it in place okay because this thing has like the let me tell, explain so how it's able to press is because it already has like tiny tiny like tiny tiny demarcations such that when you press it it folds up okay so that's how you create your eyelids and then you really want to press it real well so that it stays put and um by the time you're using your loop your lacing there is going to stay well so on the second line we'll do the same thing you snip So I will be using nails to just puncture the holes so that it's wide. Okay, it's okay for my eyelets. And then I'll insert the
So to be precise, I'm going to be using a nail and a hammer to actually open up the hole to be very precise. So once I open it up, I push the nail through the hole to expand it and then use a scissors to widen it if I want to. Okay, so this is opening up opening up I can come in from the other end and right great so the nail has passed through the hole the nail has passed through the hole right so we can just use the scissors to kind of like open it up more because obviously that hole is too small for the eyelet to go through so and please the the eyelet needs to align that will give it the beauty like you can't be having one on one end and the other one is somewhere else that would be trash so now that i have been able to widen it up i'll take the next one Okay, and then fit through that hole fit it through if it doesn't go through you don't want the hole too wide anyway if it doesn't go through widen it up a little more just a little in incy pincy tinsy wincy bit more but this one is going through I'm just pushing it so you can see that it's gone through and it aligns right here you need it to align that alignment is the beauty now let me even show you how this thing works okay so this part here this one that has the wider uh, the one that comes out more that has this thing on top should be pressed on you should align with the side of the eyelet that is well finished so you should align with this side and then the other end that's the bottom end to align with the side that will help press press it in place so i'm going to put it this way because i'm looking at it this way and then i'm going to press it in place okay so press press to flatten out okay and once you press you see it stays beautiful so this is it right so we've been able to create two now let's move on to when you have like a let's see this one i don't know if it's the same size with this this size i think is way smaller than this size let's check it out let's see if it's the same thing i'll use like two of this so this one too does not come with the let me see is it the same size it's a little wider this one does not come with that ring okay so the nail and the hammer will help for precision such that it follows the same line I'm hitting it there. sorry for the noise so i can push through to widen up the hole okay once you have widened up the hole this way push to the end then you can bring out the nail so you see that with the nail it is precise it's still following the same line so you bring out the nail and then you use your scissors to widen it some more so for instance this part here can trim And of course, I think when you even interface, the shedding or the hair remover will not be so much. This one has not been interfaced, possibly why the frame is so much. Okay, now that I've widened it, I can push the eyelets through the hole, through the widened hole. Um, widen it more if you have to. Okay, so I 
Okay, so this is how it is now, right? Remember that the part that has that extra top should go to the good side and then the normal one should be on the wrong side and then you just want to press and clamp it down okay so this is how it's looking you can see this one is now much wider and your loops will be able to pass through through it okay so guys that is it for this video let me know what you think about this was this helpful leave it in the comment section below so if you did enjoy this video do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe if you are yet to turn on your post notifications so that you'll know whenever i upload a new video and yeah so we'll see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye